Hello everyone, this is Mr. Meter and we are back with brief explanation of various types of electricity meters. First of all, let me say that the images used in the slides are simply from Google search and we are not promoting any brand in this video. Electricity meters that we see installed in our homes, houses, factories, industrial areas, substations and etc are simply measurement devices which are responsible for measuring our consumption plus various grid parameters which are needed to manage the power grid. There are simply two main types for electricity meters which are electromechanical and electronic meters. Okay, let's talk about the electromechanical meters first. Electromechanical meters are of the old meter designs when technology wasn't that advanced. The very first meter in this category was DC meters, which was designed based on the power grid actually, which also was DC current. We should mention that we owe Thomas Edison for creating the first power grid, which was DC also. The mechanical meters worked much different than the meters that we know today. The first designs had this big metal disc which connected the incoming current to the consumer input and over time and consumption the metal disc became oxide. So when the grid inspector guy first installed the disc he would have weighed it and recorded the weight and then next time he would weigh it again and the weight difference would be relevant to the consumption. The early meter was made in 1880 and after that the first official meter that was rolled out and installed in England was the reason meter. After that in 1883 the Herman Aaron meter was invented and installed and that was as of the records nearly last of the DC meters. In these times, the rivalry and battle between AC and DC power gave birth to AC grid and inevitably the AC meters. In 1889, the first AC meter design was made and named Blathy meter. And at the same year, the Thompson meter, which both utilized the transformer and induction to measure electricity. The last main innovation in mechanical electricity meters was the Oliver Schallenberger's design in 1894, which all mechanical meters that we know of are of the same type. Let's study the basic mechanism of an electromechanical meter. The simple explanation is that through induction a wheel is rotated and this rotation on an axis turns the meter numerator or dials which by this mechanism counts the customer consumption. The detailed however explanation is that the mechanical meter has two conductor coils that create magnetic fields. One coil is impacted by the voltage going across the conductor and the other one is affected by current going across the conductor. The magnetic fields generated by the interaction of these coils then turn a thin aluminum disc at the controlled speed at the rate proportional to the amount of electricity consumed. The spinning of the disc moves the dials that indicate the total electricity consumed in kilowatt hours. A utility worker must visit, read and record the current readings for you to be built. You can also read the meter yourself to determine how much electricity you have consumed and confirmed that utility charges are accurate. Now let's talk about the electronic meters. These meters have been around from the start of what I call the solid state era. There are four main categories which electricity meters and mainly the electronic ones fit in. The technology, the measured phases and installation methods and the protocols. From the technology perspective, meters fall into four main types. The digital meters, AMR meters, smart meters and prepayment meters, which we will be discussing in more detail shortly. 
The next category is the measured phases that are typically the single and three phase measurement types that each have their own applications and various types. The installation method category defines how the meter is physically designed and fit in what type of housing based on required standards. There are mainly four types which are wall, rack, ring and din rail mounts. The last category is the protocol in which meter firmware is designed and also that defines the communication method on different COM ports. These protocols vary and some of them are IEC and C, DLMS, SML and etc. Okay, let's delve into more details on each category and type. Based on technology, we have first type of meters, which are digital meters. These meters are roughly the advancement from mechanical meters utilizing the electronic technology. They are normally single tariff meters with no digital communication and data transfer capability. Actually, not all of the digital meters are single tariff. There are also multi-tariff meters. These meters are the cheapest in the industry and are also used in fixed scope cases. Examples of these are fixed tariff utility companies like Economy 7 or Economy 10 meters or when no digital data collection is necessary and meter readers just read meters by looking at the LCD screen. The AMR meters are nearly most installed meters in, the, in this category throughout the world. They have lots of features in comparison to digital meters. They can push consumption data in configurable time periods or end of billing times. But many of their functions cannot be configured and are fixed. Basically, only functions like clock, end of billing or target push destination could be configured and other functions are fixed from the manufacturer by the needs and requests from utility company. Having an optical interface on these meters makes them very useful in communicating locally with the meter using optical heads or probes and an HHU or a laptop device. HHU means uh, a handheld unit. The optical port helps calibrate these meters on site without need to remove or replace them or do it in factory or lab and also collecting consumption data using this port ensures the accurate data without any tampering or mainly human error. As said, most of these meter functions are not normally configurable, but they have authentication mechanisms for communicating locally thus enabling parameters change using administrative password or complex password algorithms that saves a lot of costs in configuration of meters. This solved the income problem for many utility companies throughout the world and lowered their cost by a considerable amount. The last difference of these meters in comparison to other types is the registers they measure and calculate. They normally measure the kilowatt hour and the demand kilowatt hour parameters in addition to voltage and current registers. Based on the technology of AMR meters, smart meters open the new gate to the metering world. Their ability to communicate both ways with lots of capabilities as of measurement and calculation helped a lot in lowering costs and easing the management of the power grids. Although smart meters are in all other energy industries, but electricity has always been a pioneer in the metering world. The smart meters push alarm and event and measurement data alongside ability to receive commands and provide data to the requests in the server mode. Some of the smart meters have built-in gateways and some don't. Gateways differ based on the communication protocols like LoRaWAN, GPRS, 4G, 3G or LAN and etc. The smart meters either have relevant physical port for connection to gateway or they have built-in one based on the customer preference. Some are modular meaning that they can be removed from meter or changed based on the customer request and some are designed to have separate gateways. These meters measure and calculate various registers, demand, alarms and events and also are capable of output relay controls. 
There are many meter manufacturers nowadays offering lots of different capabilities and competing in the metering industry. And by that they develop and grow this metering world. The metering world is moving The metering world is moving towards prepayment system from the old post-payment system. This is mainly because of the claims collection difficulty and mostly for demand control for the utility companies. By this system, the customers only buy the amount of power they need or demand based on their consumption type and activity and pay for that in advance, obligating the utility company to provide them clean and high quality service. Also, the utility companies will know how much power they should provide and they will be able to manage and develop their power grid more efficiently because they are being paid in advance and this strengthens their capabilities as energy providers. This system demanded new type of meters which was designed to have internal or external relays as an obligation and a credit management system. Customers will have to buy credit and manually add their purchase credit to the meters for not smart meters or just buy credit from provider's website or locally and the meter will allow the customer to consume power until they run out of it. As soon as the credit runs out, the meter relay will be triggered and the customer's power will be cut until they buy or add new credit. This is both good for energy consumption management of the customer and the utility company. Though some utility companies have this policy not to cut the power in certain times of the day or certain days of the week or the year, and also warning cuts and industrial power cut policies. These meters nowadays either use a card which benefit from MIFER or RF technologies or physical dongles to add credit. There are also meters that won't need physical interactions and will manage credit remotely from the utility company. Electricity is provided in two main categories to the customers, the single and the three phase. Three phase meters are mainly installed in the grid level and also for the customers with higher level demands like factories or big malls. <laughs> but also we have three phase meters installed in apartments as the power feeder to the lift or the facility room as they need two separate phases or better say two separate lines to operate. Single phase meters on the other hand are used mainly for the households as it's normal to see every day that we see our meters. As you can see in the image on the left, we have either single or three phase configurations as used in most power grids. Meters are installed in many different locations and based on the standard or location prerequisites, this installation type must be different. There are four typical installation types for electricity meters. The wall mount, rack mount, ring mount, and the DIN rail mount. The wall mount meters are generally used in residential, substations, and industrial areas where installation basically is done on the wall and we have enough room to install meters. This type of installation is the most used type in the industry. The rack mount installation is used normally in substations and places where there is a pre-installed or built rack structure meant to install equipment in it. Ring mount installation type was used in older times as the meter was also a round type and mechanical meters and nowadays electronic round meters utilize this type. This type is mostly used in United States as we see it. In the electric panels, which DIN rails are installed, all equipment installed must be installable on the rail. The type of equipment designed to be installed on the DIN rails are called rail mount. Although there are different types of rails, but normally in the metering industry, DIN rails are used. 
There are various standard protocols in which electricity meters can be designed and manufactured. These standards are developed through many years of experience in the energy sector, consisting of metering functions and calculations, communication language and protocols, housing standards like ingress protection and materials used, security and etc. Simply all that you need to make a meter. Based on the policies of each utility company or country or what infrastructure they can provide, different standards can be utilized. Some countries even create their own standards like Germany which has SML or South Africa which is SABS or Iran which has FAHAM as main standard which meter manufacturers must comply to. Designing and manufacturing a meter based on a standard helps reduce development time and costs and also solves many problems before they occur. Normally meter manufacturers make meters based on the standards of their target sales country or utility company. This was the basics of various types of electricity meters. Please hit the subscribe button and we will be talking much more on the network protocols, transmitting data modes and all about the applications of data measurement and transmission in energy grids and the metering industry. Thank you.